Premier Guitar fans, we are once again here at Frankfurt Music Messa 2010 on day four, the last day. We're catching up with an old friend, Joe Nags at Nags Guitars. He's launching a brand new line. How's it going, Joe? Very good, very good. So, let's jump right into it. You've got some amazing looking guitars here. I don't know which one to lust over more first. Right. You want to tell us about this, this ocean blue one? Here? Yeah, sure. Let's start with this. Um, we have two separate lines, okay? We have the Influence line and the Chesapeake line. This uh, Kanai model is part of the Influence line. You know, we have shorter scale, three on the side headstock, um, maple tops, a, uh, a bridge we designed that's a, a one piece, two piece bridge. So we combined a uh, stop part on a a normal uh, tunematic setup, but we've combined it into all one bridge. That's intended to channel more energy into the body for more exactly. resonance, right? That's right, so that you have all that together, and then the posts go into the bridge and then into the wood. Into the bridge plate, I should say. It's all you brass. Okay, and standard two volume, two tone? That's correct, yep. Three-way toggle switch. Uh, we're using Lindy Freeland humbucking pickups, pure PAFs in this model. There's a quilted top here done in winter solstice. Uh, these are shell inlay designs that I that I did uh, in the last six months. Amazing. Along with the uh, seahorse on the top, so this is an option that you get when you go up to the tier one guitars, okay? And what we have is tier one, tier two, and tier three in all the different models except for the bases. Uh, tier one is the highest level, and the more uh, the, the higher tiers you go up, the more options you get. Uh, this has got abalone purflin around the whole top around the neck, uh, wood binding, curly maple binding around the headstock and the neck. This is the Patuxent and this is in a tier one also, so this would be the highest level. Uh, this is my own personal guitar here. Um, this started with the whole Chesapeake theme, but what we decided is that we use the NAGS logo and brand name, okay, and carry the whole Chesapeake line into the NAGS brand, okay. So this particular guitar is the the Patuxent, all the Chesapeake guitars are named after tributaries of the Chesapeake Bay, where the Influence series is all named after other rivers in North America, Indian names. Like, I've, I've, always, I've always enjoyed like rivers, water, oceans, so that's what I like using on as all the names for the different models. Yeah, these are the work boats of the Chesapeake. That's all done in um, green snail, okay, and then uh, some other pipe stone, et cetera as part of the masts. Uh, this again is green uh, ripple abalone around the whole thing, curly maple binding. This particular one is uh, rosewood also. Gorgeous, wow. This has the Waverly engraved pegs, beautiful pegs. So this is the chop tank, all right? This particular one has the split blade Freeland pickups in it. They're great sounding pickups. This is a bridge I designed, okay? It's got a it's got a blue gun bluing as the as the plating. It's not really plating. So it's all steel bridge, screwed down in the front, and this bridge really transfers a lot of sound into the middle of the body. Okay. Curly maple top, abalone purflin around the whole thing, around the pick guard, <clears throat> coca bola fingerboard. One sailboat, gold outline diamonds, that's one of the options in the Chesapeake series. Wow. A logo that uh, we work with uh, Marcus Caius, a, a, a wonderful, um, he owns a company in Germany here, a good friend of Peter. Uh, he developed the uh, Nags writing and then I just developed the circle and the lines along with Peter and Danny. Very cool. Curly maple neck. Wow. Alder back. I had Chesapeake Severn. Again, we're using Lindy Freeland Blue Specials in these, okay? This tremolo bridge is a design that incorporates that same bridge on the chop tank, but has a hinge system so that the tremolo system's all locked together with the plate, and then that moves back and forth, as opposed to your normal knife edge screws, uh, strats, PRS, etc. has. Again, a gun blued steel bridge. So, so the idea behind this innovative bridge is to get more sustain and yet still have the ability to use yeah, tremolo. It kind of adds a um, little more sparkle to the top and 
drives the sound into the middle of the body is really what I'm kind of shooting for. Brass saddles, sapele top, curly maple laminate, and then to an alder back, rosewood uh, tremolo cover, rock maple neck, Indian rosewood fingerboard with diamonds. This is a large hollow body, okay? Kind of needed this to round the line out. <laughs> um, curly maple top, curly maple back, tier two quality, okay? Again, Fralin humbuckers in there, the pure PAFs. This is a Morningstar inlay design that I came up with. So this is one of the options, but in a tier two, you would have this option or dots. And this one is called the Cheyenne? This is the Cheyenne, it's called, yeah. Again, an Indian River name. The Waverly Tuning Pegs, open back. It's a mahogany neck, I'm guessing. Mahogany neck, yeah, mahogany sides. Carved inside and out, the same as the top. Same bridge on this guitar, on all the influence. This is the bridge that we'll be using on all the influence models. So to make sure we had an entire line of guitars, we wanted to have, uh, you know, what we considered a working man's guitar. Uh, not a lot of frills, okay? Um, just basically a, a great guitar that someone can buy for more reasonable price. You know, someone who doesn't mind uh, bringing it out on gigs. And so this is a tier three uh, Kia, okay? All mahogany body carved. Again, the influence bridge, okay? This has Seymour Duncans in it. The uh, 59s. You call this a working man's guitar, but it's still got a very appealing carve to it. Yeah, we we wanted in the Influence series. That's where you have all the carved tops. Also carved back. I've also carved the backs slightly cupped, so that when you're playing them, they wrap around your body. This is the tier three chop tank, okay? Um, again, just a swamp ash back, no curly maple top or anything like that. Using the same Chesapeake bridge though, okay? This one has, uh, this one will have Seymour Duncans in it, okay? Uh, What's this pick guard made of? Koa pick guard. Very nice. Okay. Rock maple neck, beautiful rock maple neck, quarter on, but no curl. Just again, something for the working man to buy. East Indian Rosewood fingerboard with mammoth ivory dots. Give it a little vintage look. Real high fret wire on the Chesapeake Series 2. We're using 6105 fret wire. It's my own personal favorite and uh, just gives the guitar a certain feel. You know, the, a lot of harmonics come out of it at higher fret wire. To round the entire line out, uh, we're doing uh, two bases. This particular one, we don't have the other base here. I don't know. This is the Chop Tank base, okay? so. You know, it's the bass version of the Chop Tank guitar, all right? Uh, this has got the P-Bass setup, Swamp Ash body. This is a tier three also, okay? Uh, precision type, these are Fralins in this. Uh, volume tone, wall, uh, walnut pick guard, okay? So you got a badass bridge? Yeah, badass. That's bridge. totally badass. It's badass. Actually, they're great, very, very nice bridges. Glued in neck. Definite figuring on that neck. Yeah, there is. Uh huh. That's the neck blank I had available at the time. <laughs> now, does it come with strap locks or is uh, it your yeah, personal? It okay. Yeah, we'll be putting those kind of uh, buttons on all the guitars. Okay. You probably didn't see them on those, but we'll be putting them on there. Okay. All right. Well, thanks so much for showing us all these new guitars. I know you got a lot going on right now. It's hectic, crazy, busy with the last day of the show. But um, we want to give our readers and our viewers a heads up that in the May issue of Premier Guitar, we're going to be doing a lot more uh, background on this stuff, telling the story behind the formation of Nags Guitars and the whole line. We talked with you a couple weeks ago. It was a great conversation. So yeah. we want to make sure everyone uh, keeps their eyes out for that. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you for taking the time to show us. Absolutely. Where can our readers go to find out more about this online? Uh, you can go to our website, okay, it's uh, www.nagsguitars.com. Uh, Peter's got a bunch of Facebook stuff going on, a Facebook page for Nags Guitars, and 
Of course, she'll be reading stuff in Premier Guitar Magazine. So everyone go become a fan. <laughs> All right, exactly. thanks again, Joe. Thank you very much. Have, a great, have a great show. All right. All right, everybody, thanks for tuning in to watch this bit about Joe Nag's guitars. I'm Sean Hammond. You're watching PremierGuitar.com.